Hi, in today's video, we are going to see how to select some DOM element and how to change attributes of those DOM element. DOM stands for Document Object Modeling. So every tag in HTML is in equivalent to DOM element. So tags are equivalent to DOM element. We are going to select these tags and change an attribute of these tags. Now how to select a particular element inside DOM? That is nothing but making selection. DG allows us to manipulate DOM elements in an HTML document. That's why we need to first select that element out of all those group of elements. You can either select one element or group of elements at the same time. And then we can manipulate these elements attribute with the help of D3 method. For performing selection and manipulation, we have D3 object. So D3 library must be included in your page. That is the first step to your making selection. Second, we have a global JavaScript object named D3. Make sure your D is a small letter which includes all the important methods to start with. Now let us see how DOM selection works. We must get its reference with the help of select method or select all method. Now the syntax for selecting a particular element is d3.select within the parenthesis the name of selector. D3.select method returns the first element in an HTML document based on specified selector. That means I can even write down d3.select p. So that will return me first paragraph or p tag out of all the tags, p tags in a given HTML document. Let us see how basically this works. D3main.js is the library that I must include in my HTML page. So I will start running my new file and paste the skeleton. And let me save this file in a same folder for which I have made a directory as my server. So this is my first example. Within the body, let me write down some p tags. This is first paragraph all right uh, like i will copy and paste this thing three times and this is uh, second paragraph and this is third paragraph i'm going to save this file and view it inside my browser this is selector.eg, right? Uh, selected example. Uh, I will open it with Google Chrome. All right. So there are there is a text. This is first paragraph. This is second paragraph, and this is third paragraph. So I'll simply write d3 dot select method. Uh, I want to select paragraph tag. Uh, so d3 dot select p dot style color comma say I want to set it as blue color and at the end semicolon save this file and come to the browser and refresh the page as you can see we are having three p tags in this particular page but uh, the select element uh, is going to return the very first paragraph or p tag. That tag is selected by this particular select method and style is being applied with color is equal to blue. So the content of first paragraph tag is going to get blue. Say for example, I want every p tag to appear as blue. So I can simply write down select all p. So all P tags will be selected by D3 and style will be applied as blue and color. And 
refreshed. All these paragraphs are now into blue color. Now say for example, I want to only make second paragraph as red in color. So uh, this is my second P tag. I give it an ID. ID is equal to P2. Now here I will do D3 dot select inside bracket hash P2. So whenever you are supplying ID inside select tag, proceed it with hash. And if you are supplying name of tag, you don't need to proceed with some element. You just directly write down the name of tag. And uh, say style as color, which is red. I'll save this document, go to the web page and uh, simply refresh it. So my second paragraph is selected with the help of ID. So if you are going to make use of only select method, out of all those tags, only first match tag will be returned by the selector or select method. If you are going to use select all, all the methods or all the stylings will be applied to all of these tags. And if you want to select a unique tag, provide it a unique ID. And while giving a select method, you will make use of hash followed by ID name of that tag. Now select all method is returning all of these tags that are matching with the given selector. So if I write d3.selectallp.stylecolor as some color, it will apply to all p tags. Now after selection, what process or what all changes that we can do over the tags. A large collection of manipulation methods that can be used after selecting an element using select or select all. Text, append, insert, remove, html, attribute, property, style and class. So out of all these we have already seen the style in which we have changed the style or appearance of text as color with some different values. So here uh, we are having this is a second paragraph. Right uh, now instead of this I will make its text as hello welcome. Stop. So let me see what are the changes that I can see. I will simply refresh. Now as you can see, uh, here we are seeing this is a paragraph, hello and welcome. So it, even though we have written uh, some rigid text that this is the second paragraph, now my web page is showing new text that is hello, welcome. One thing I would like all of you to observe is to press Control shift insert. We have a look at the source code of this page. Here within a body there are three P tags. As soon as I hover over a P tag, it is been getting the highlighted to your left side. Uh, now look at this second P tag where ID is P2. As you can see, it is loading the content directly. Hello, welcome. Right, so while writing a source code, we have written this is the second paragraph at this location. But just because the script that is running the 3D3 JavaScript library, it has substituted its text as hello, welcome. Now, uh, as you can see, we have selected only P2, an element with ID P2, but we are applying two methods. First one is changing its color and second one is changing its text. So all of these two methods are need not to have two different selectors for two different manipulations. I can have another one manipulation with the help of simply period. So while writing with D3, the notation that we are going to use is this. Only one select statement will be there and it won't be ended by semicolon. But simply I'll write down dot style is this, dot text is this. Or I can also have some different method at this location also. Now, d3 dot select, I'm going to select 
body element. So this is nothing but simply body tag of HTML page. Now inside this body, uh, I want to add one new tag. So I'll make use of append method. I have to append a new tag, say div tag. And this div tag is containing text as new division. And I'll save this, go to page and refresh. Now as you can see, this is my body element. Right, body is going to get closed at this location. Just before the completion of this body, one new element is appended, that is div. And inside div, we have text as new division. And I can uh, set its attributes also, that means I can define the size of this division. Uh, let me set those attributes. So I'll write down ATTR. ATTR method is used for uh, attributes. I can set the attributes as width, comma, its value, say 200 pixels, and uh, another attribute as height. And uh, the height of this div is 300 pixels. In today's video, we have covered select method, select all method, text method, append method, and attribute and style method. Rest of the methods will be covered as and when we will be required in our tutorial. Thank you everyone for watching this video.